Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a second and let you know that I have moved all of my Blender tutorials and things like that over to a new channel called The Default Scene. So if you just search The Default Scene in Google or YouTube, that'll come up. And I'm trying to build that out a little bit. Um, you can see it's been a month since I posted my last video there, but I have some big plans for all of that. And so anyway, let's get on to the tutorial. So in regards to getting the best results quickly out of dark table, you go ahead and open up a photo, you know, just come here to the light table, find the photo, double click on it, and then that will take you here into dark room. Now I've gone ahead and turned on all of the modules and uh, we've gone over how to do that in other tutorials. So I'm just gonna go through and turn on a few select modules that will kind of enhance my photo and give me a good result right off the bat then I can spend some time tweaking things. The first thing I'm going to do is come over here to the exposure just turn it on and then here select manual and switch that to automatic. Now that only changes a little bit because this image was already fairly correctly exposed there's just a little overexposure here in the flower. Next let's go ahead and move over here to the tone group and let's go ahead and turn on the local contrast. And I'll just leave that where it is. And that's all for there. Then let's go ahead and move over here into the color group. And here let's come into vibrance. And 25% is pretty good. So I'll leave that there. And one thing I forgot to do was to come here to the brightness and saturation. And turn the saturation up a little bit. I'm going to turn it up to about 0.2. Okay, now let's go back to the color group and just make sure we haven't missed anything but that's all about all we need from the color group and now let's come over here to the correction group the first thing I'll do is turn on sharpening and just leave that at the default and then so turn on some lens correction you can see that that's already been applied and then finally I'm just gonna come over here to the profiled uh, denoiser and just turn that on and since this image has uh, all of my camera info, it will go ahead and denoise everything properly. So anyway, let me just go ahead and re-overview what we've done so far. We've turned on the exposure, and we just set that to automatic. We turned on the brightness and saturation, and increased the saturation to about 20. We turned on the local contrast and left that at the default values. We turn on the vibrance, we turn on the sharpening, lens corrections, and the profile denoise module. So if you just go ahead and turn all of those on, you actually have a pretty great start to this image. So anyway, I hope that this has been helpful for you in getting started fast with Darktable. I hope you are staying safe out there, and I will see you next time. Thank you.